Today on Book Break, we are doing our first ever publishing house book haul. So I've got a surprise box here that Elle has packed for me with all of the books that have come into our office over the last month. I don't know what's going to be in here, so let's dive in. Ooh, huge. So what should we bring here? This is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. So she is obviously mega popular. She's the author of Fangirl. The sequel to this, Wayward Sun, is coming out really soon and they've got all this like gorgeous new artwork. So this is a new edition of Carry On and it does look absolutely beautiful. Then we have The Daughter by Michelle Francis. This one you're gonna see on book break quite a bit. It's about a single mother. It's very Erin Brockovich kind of vibes. A single mother who takes on this sinister corporation, uncovers a conspiracy about it, even though she's got no training as a lawyer and it's very impressive and it's like a really great plot, really great fun. This is The Tradition by Jericho Brown. She haven't read this one, um, but it says it contains poems about fatherhood, blackness, queerness, legacy, and trauma. So that just sounds absolutely amazing. This one is another YA. This is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. So this is a fantasy novel about a girl called Zafira who is forced to disguise herself as a man to brave the cursed forest. So I think this is going to be a really great feminist, action-packed YA adventure. We have... The Thunder Girls by Melanie Blake. Melanie Blake has had this amazing career as a music manager, and this is a fiction novel, but obviously very inspired by her experiences. And also I just love that it's gold. Melanie Blake is such a character, like look her up. She's so much fun. So I bet this book is just gonna be like absolute joy to read. What have we got here? This is A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Advardson, which again, you would have seen all of a book break. So this is another thriller a domestic thriller about a family who, where the teenage daughter is accused of a murder. Like out of the blue and up until then they were this very normal, happy suburban family. This one's been like really, really buzzy. What is this? This is Blood of an Exile by Brian Nasland. Okay, I don't know anything about this one, so let's have a look. Oh, it's got a map in it, which is always exciting. Bershad was supposed to die. When he was caught attempting to assassinate a fellow noble, he was given the harshest sentence, a command to slay dragons so his death might serve the kingdom. Yet for some reason, he never lost a fight and is now the most successful dragon slayer in history. Great. However, as a doomed man, Bershad is still shunned by his peers and his countrymen. But that could all change. We've got an MCL in here, my favourites. This is Songs of Innocence and of Experience by William Blake. MCLs always have such beautiful covers and this one is like extra gorgeous, look at that. So this one actually has William Blake's own drawings and writings of the poem opposite the printing of each one, each page. So it's absolutely gorgeous, really, really colorful. That is absolutely beautiful. Any William Blake fans, definitely gonna want that. True Colors by Kristen Hanna. This is another surprise to me. I don't know much about this one. This one, just from reading about right now, has two of my favorite things in it, horses, and sisters. This is about three sisters who end up being pitted against each other and it says loyalties are tested, secrets revealed, and then a terrible crime threatens to tear their whole community apart. Sounds dark. Okay, we've got Pole Dark in here. So everyone knows Pole Dark. We're on the final series of the TV show, so if you're worried that you're gonna miss the show, there's so many books. This is the eighth novel in the series so there's loads for you to catch up on. This is, oh this is No Big Deal by Bethany Ratter. So Bethany Ratter is great, she is a body positive activist and this is her fiction YA novel about a teenage girl who is perfectly happy with her own body but gets pressure from people like her mum. It's just about her loving herself and convincing the rest of the world to love her too, the way that she is. Okay, Exhalation by Ted Chiang. This one, really excitingly, just got picked by Barack Obama as one of his summer reading list books, which is great because he has the best reading taste of all time, as we know. So Ted Chiang writes sci-fi stories. He wrote a story that was the basis of the movie Arrival. So that's kind of like his big, most famous one. There's nine stories in here, and these are tales that tackle some of humanity's oldest questions, along with new quandaries that only Ted Chan could imagine. So that's some seriously high praise, and honestly, I'm trusting Barack Obama on this one. Coders. Okay, this is Coders, who they are, what they think, and how they are changing our world by Clive Thompson. 
So coders is obviously like such an important career path at the moment, like so much of our world is ultimately controlled by coders. So he's a tech reporter, but also like a social anthropologist. So it sounds really, really interesting. Okay, this is The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. This is another one that I've seen quite a few places on booktube. It's about a fantasy theme park that is run by kind of cyborg princesses who are programmed to just make like everyone's wishes come true and give them all a fantastic, wonderful time. They're called fantasists, these kind of cyborg princesses. And this book follows one of the fantasists who ends up on trial for experiencing human emotions beyond her programming. So I think it's gonna be about kind of exploring what it means to be human. This one I have seen before. This is The World in 38 Chapters or Dr. Johnson's Guide to Life by Henry Hitchings. So Dr. Johnson is famously the man who wrote the first dictionary, or at least the first good English dictionary. I think there were attempts before then. And that dictionary was published in 1755. So this is kind of his life story, but it's also about his attitude to life because he had loads and loads of opinions on the complexity of life and how to be kind and how to cultivate a good family life. So it actually kind of reads us this rather inspirational book as well as being an interesting story of the man who came to write the first good English dictionary. This one, big book here, this is Time for the Dead by Lynn Anderson. Now, Lynn Anderson, I haven't read any of her books, but she is just one of the most beloved Scottish authors. And this is part of her Rona McLeod series, which is really, really popular. And this one is set on the Isle of Skye. Yeah, here it is, there's a lovely map. I love anything, any books that have maps in them. This one I have seen, we've had this one all around the office because it's just so beautiful. This is The Hiding Game by Naomi Wood. Again, haven't read it yet, but I'm so excited to. It's like one of the top books on my TBR. So this is, I've heard it described by people in the office who've read it as a kind of the secret history-esque book, but this one's set in 1920s and where the secret history was about classics, this one is about art. Naomi Wood is a really, really beautiful writer. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. And then finally, the box is nearly empty. This is Brenda is a Sheep by Morag Hood. I have actually read this one. This one's adorable, Morag Hood is just wonderful. So this one is about Brenda who claims to be a sheep and it just goes through like all of these hilarious little scenes of her hanging out with her sheep friends playing games like catch where she's clearly just trying to catch the sheep but it is a story ultimately of acceptance. So it's a really, really sweet one and Morag Hood is just absolutely brilliant. So that was our first book break book haul. A really good selection of the books that have been coming into the office and that everyone's been buzzing about. So do leave a comment if you have read any of those or if you're particularly excited about any of them. And of course, give this video a thumbs up and do hit that subscribe button below for new book break videos every week. And if you want a behind the scenes look at book break, you can go follow us over on Instagram at book break UK. See you next time.